le temps de dire side, puis on dit aussi tout to work with the machines on the economic situation, on energy supply. You must discuss also the question of political stabilization, solution of conflicts. You need to discuss about uh, cooperation of Russia to, to, to for example, to, to stop proliferation in Iran or, or, or to, to help, uh, uh, you know, uh, the operation of, of the Americans, of the Europeans in, uh, in Afghanistan. So you have to, to strike a balance in that. And uh, I think there is no easy answer. And of course, uh, interest and the visions of member states are not always the same. But uh, I remember our discussions with the Russians in Brussels where they don't like this concept of common values, but they accept, for example, the reference to international instruments on human rights or United Nations char Charter or Council of Europe, etc. They are not always implementing it, but we need to discuss with them on these issues. And your second question was about... Uh, and then, just to continue about the Russia and the uh, why, for us, this is a matter of survival, mm. almost, with Russia. And uh, what is your, with your looking from France, looking from the European Union, and what is your your recommendation or advice or just a comment or whatever in whatever format the uh, like forget about the European Union become, become one of the part of Russia do what you are doing what you know what, whatever and is this uh, looking into European values and, and uh, principles and rules of international affairs and international international interaction or international cooperation does it make any sense for us do we have to insist on that i had very very good support in the ministry of foreign affairs of this uh, because we did a book on uh, new foreign policy uh, ukraine has a plan sort of the study and the, and the publication and the and then Klinkin loved he loved it he said this is something that needs to be really further developed somehow this what does Ukraine stand on with uh, when we talk to Russia and this seems uh, useful for could be useful for you <laughs> and it is that uh, and it could be saving for us maybe I don't know. What is your just quick, quick, quick glance at this? To, 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 sum, up, to sum up very quickly, uh, the the, I think the, 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 you know, uh, Firstly, I think you have to consolidate your independence. I think it's important to, for, for Ukraine, you know, you are a new state, uh, only, only uh, 20 years, and I think it's important to, to have this strategic objective, which is not easy because, of course, you are a powerful, powerful neighbor who has also its uh, objective in terms of sphere of influence, uh, in, the, in terms of own interest, for example, the, the question of Russia, Russian minorities in uh, Eastern Ukraine or in Crimea, etc. But I think important is to have uh, to have uh, political independence. Secondly, I think it's in interest of Ukraine to have economic rapprochement with the EU because because it's not. Uh, I think. If the Russians can modernize themselves, uh, you know, in terms of society, economy, politics, etc., I think it will come through the economy. Because they will have to, if they don't open themselves to the modern economy, if they don't get to the WTO, for example, they, they, will, uh, they will lose some, some ground right, in the economic world competition. And I think uh, you. you they, they will not be able to, to prevent that. Uh, that 
efforts to open themselves, to integrate themselves in the global economy. So I think for Ukraine it's good to, to, to stick to the EU, uh, to modernize itself, uh, to, to develop economic ties with the EU, and I think it can be positive also for the Russians. It's my, uh, it's my impression. And thirdly, I think you have to be careful, uh, politically speaking, with the Russians, because they you know it's, they are very sensitive on some issues, especially on NATO enlargement, for example. And personally, uh, because I, I, I saw that in, uh, in Brussels, I think it's not something uh, totally, uh, it's not par hasard, it's not, par, it's not uh, Solving other regional conflicts in the USSR, former USSR. Uh, then there was this question of NATO enlargement, which is sensitive for the Russians. And then, of course, you had the problem specific with, uh, with Georgia, uh, the tensions on the ground, etc. And then uh, you know what happened in, uh, in the summer 2008. But I think uh, it's difficult for a country like Ukraine, but it's not impossible, I think. What I saw uh, Brussels is that the, the Russians don't see the EU in the same, uh, with the same eyes as NATO. Because the EU, there, is, there are not the Americans, it's only an economic integration, mainly, mainly economic. They are ready to, uh, they are ready to, uh, to you know, to, uh, for example, to develop some crisis management tool with the EU. Uh, they did it in Chad. Chad had participated in military, very small military contribution, but it was sim a symbol that uh, uh, Russia is able to uh, act with, uh, with uh, the EU to, to solve the crisis. So, Russia works with NATO very closely. Yes, but... Uh, it is not, these are two different things. One thing is what is allowed for Russia, and what they do not allow for the countries of the former Soviet Union. This is what they were the, the absolute difference. Is. So what they they I am, we will see it very soon. We will see it this year mm. because the uh, European Union is soft sort of compared to hard mm. threat of NATO, but until we start, because this year, association and FTA, and uh, usually before NA every some two big sort of serious NATO summits, we had big, big, big scandal of culture, then other, and then psh, Ukraine just burst it. The other was, what was the other one? Was uh, before the previous was in Prague or something, and then there was another when Ukraine was supposed to be uh, given this uh, membership. Actually, Riga summit. Uh, Riga summit. Was Riga summit once, and then Prague summit, and every time it went uh, there something very horrible happened, and the ah, then we had Melnichenko scandal and. Uh, in the scandal and everything, and then everybody thinks, well, Russia and Ukraine is sort of oh, horrible things happening in Ukraine. So we, don't, we shall see what, st what will start happening in Ukraine before the end of the year, of course. But um, the thing is, what do we do anyway? 